wedding venue. Hello, Santa! Fill all of the silence. <laughs> yeah. No. No, less. Yes. Oh my gosh. Plus, they play board games so much. Up at five, and then she was like, and then I thought it was like a really good idea to go out last night. Playing games. You're so cute, Lynn. Yeah. Hello, Angels. Yeah, like, what do you? We start this vlog like in this car. <laughs> Scott's like, why are you starting now? We're with Kyle and Rebecca. We're going to Mount Nemo. I've never been there. We're, I'm talking to my vlog. I'm talking to the people. Actually, I'm talking to all of my online friends. Mm. All my online friends. Hi, online friends. You wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand. They're way too cool for you. Yeah. yeah. We're going to Mount Nemo today. I've never been. Um, Rebecca was texting me last night being like, where should we go? And I was like, let's go somewhere I've never been. Whereas she's the one who just moved here. <laughs> I should have suggested somewhere fact, she's never been. We're going to a place that I have been. Frequently. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to Mount Nemo. So all of these shots will be from there. We are all Which armed with coffee, I believe. Depends on the message. Scott and I were late, so. We on brand. brand. <laughs> We had the best apple fritters. You did? Yeah. Did you go to Waterdown? Did you go to Copper Kettle? We did. <gasps> wow, guys, if you're ever near Waterdown, you gotta go to Copper they Kettle. Good? They make homemade apple so fritters. Good. Scott and I went to Starbucks and we were in the line for so long, so having there. the longest conversation. Kyle described the apple fritters as a fritter sandwich with an apple in the middle. Mm, a fritter sandwich. <laughs> If you are coming to Mount Nemo, you do have to make a reservation. So, Becca and Kyle made a reservation because they have a Halton Pass. And you also have to book a time. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we can afford in Burlington. Yeah. We're all moving in. <laughs> Welcome home. This is what we got. But it's like something feels different from back then. Why don't we go back to Look how cool this is. We were joking though, this is all we can afford in Burlington. I remember watching Unjaded Jade's YouTube channel and she has this little thing called casual magic. And it's like one of my favorite things ever because in life, like if you are willing to look for it, there are so many little moments of casual magic in life and I just thought that was so cool. Also, just this trail. It's stunning. I hope you guys get to go for a little walk wherever you are today. Can you please tell me in the comments below where you are watching from? Because that always warms my heart. Oh gosh, Rose, be careful. <laughs> The one really far away. You guys probably can't see in this video, but, and ignore the poo bag in my hand. <laughs> but the scene tower is right there. Never wanted to end things like we did, I'm sorry. Look how green that grass is. There's like these caves down there. Scotty used to go in those with his friends. These are some of my favorite things when going on a trail. So you can actually do rock climbing here. My friend Ray often will come and do that, but I also love seeing this. What you might see, turkey vultures, bats. I haven't seen any of those. Butternut trees. Just the, just the bottom of my face. you're like how do I get in it and then you film yourself you walking and then you run back <laughs> really are you tired woman because he's passing out now too yeah we 
have successfully tired out the kids today. <laughs> we did a good job. show you a little outfit of the day and then I'm going to tell you what we're doing in the car with Scotty. So again, I am wearing my Holland Cooper jumper. I have a little white t-shirt by Sunday Best underneath wearing my little Majuri earrings because I feel like this is a bit extra already going the full cream. I also have my little, let's see if we can grab focus here, a little swatch watch jewelry and then these pants are from Zara and I highly recommend them. Pockets, they've got this beautiful kind of waist belt there. And they're really nice. They like the little slit pockets at the back are very feminine and flattering. And then I think I'm gonna wear my cream boots and just go all in with the cream look. So a little monochromatic look for something that is so exciting today. Okay, officially in the car. A couple exciting things have happened this morning. One, Scotty's parents came over and they brought us danishes and coffee and so we just got to catch up um, and have a nice little morning with them. Two, we just saw a guy on a Segway, so that's always yeah, exciting. I don't know if it was an official Segway, but it was something. Yeah, it was, it looked a lot smaller, like dinkier than a Segway. It's not a great look, <laughs> But it is sunny and we are so thankful. We are going to see a potential wedding venue today. Yay! I also, I don't know if you noticed, Scotty, I got a little bit extra this morning and I decided to wear like all cream and white, very bridal. Yeah, oh wow, are we getting married now? <laughs> yeah, today is the day. Um, but I wanted to tell you, so I am gonna be vlogging through that experience, but that video and that bit is going to be more in like our bridal playlist or our wedding playlist because I'm gonna be making a bunch of content for you guys along the way. I have a lot of ideas for DIYs. I have a lot of ideas for saving money some places, spending it other places. This um, venue we are going to see, we are both really excited about but you never know right so um wish us luck and we'll oh you're you're not know, wearing contacts <laughs> so scotty has contacts but, but he's wearing his glasses and then sunglasses the double glasses um we are excited wish us luck and we'll give you a reaction after and then if you would like to see the venue you'll have to wait for that video to come out so be sure to subscribe <laughs> I just wanted to put a little midpoint ramble in here. After going to see the venue, I was so excited and it is just so gorgeous and honestly exactly what Scotty and I had in mind for our wedding. But when I was leaving, I had this like feeling, I don't know what it was. I just want to say that like in movies and everything, everything feels so romanticized when you're going through the wedding process. And already, like we have just started, and already like just going in for the beginning part, it just, you're asking all these questions and it just feels so transactional. And I literally, I don't know what I had in my mind. And maybe it's, I'm just feeling a little mo more emotional or heightened emotion today, but I loved it. I just, I don't know what I put on myself in terms of expectation of feeling for this process. I just want to make sure that I don't put too much pressure on myself and I never really fully thought about how I would be feeling throughout the whole thing. So I want to say wedding planning is a huge deal and if you guys are watching this video because you are also wedding planning, I just want to say don't put too much pressure on yourself, don't put too much pressure on the wedding, but also this is like a huge investment as well if you go down the more conventional path of planning your wedding at a venue and it's okay to feel a certain type of way and to be unsure whether you're doing the right thing and if that is how you're feeling I get it because I'm feeling it too so all of this stuff in this video is gonna be magic but I also just want to add the reality 
that there are gonna be some little speed bumps along the way and that's totally okay. Good morning, angels. Good morning. Oh, I thought Rosie wanted to come in, but she ran away. This morning I was doing some setup because I have this really cool interview that's taking place on Thursday. I did an unboxing for Real Sports and I'm just trying to knock off everything on my list. So today is like a half admin day as well as a filming day because I really wanna get some fashion-y videos up. And if you're watching this video now, then the video that I'm filming today, so meta, <laughs> has already been released because that will technically be shot, edited, packaged, and put out to be posted tomorrow. So I'll take you through some of the behind the scenes of that. Oh gosh, but besides that, this is our jungle. We just, they just keep growing. And our birds of paradise, I am afraid, is going to be hitting the ceiling soon. So if you are ever looking for some sort of office partition, plants make a really good one. There she is. <laughs> Me again. Just got off a really cool call with my friend niece today we're putting together this presentation for it's called the Com cosmetic alliance of canada and basically any brand who sells cosmetics in canada they have to be a part of this alliance so we're going to be doing this zoom and talking all about influencer marketing and creating and it's really cool but my stomach is rumbling it's like crazy scotty's going to pick us up some quesadillas which i am 100 so thrilled about but i wanted to bring up one thing so on instagram I was just sharing how I'm going to be doing more vlogs on YouTube and these are I've said this a million times these are the ones that I love to watch the most and as well kind of the ones that I love to share the most because I feel like we actually get to know each other and have conversations and just different things like that and I want to let you know that if you're a content creator too and you add something new to your niche or some people say niche you're gonna lose some people and that's totally cool. And in the end, what's gonna happen is maybe you'll have a little dip because you're not creating what people expect of you, but you're actually going to end up having more people find you and become part of your community later because you're sharing more, you're including another community and you're just kind of shifting your value. So oftentimes if I lose a subscriber or anything like that after making a post, I will just tell myself, because words are important, I will tell myself not that I am creating content that people don't like or losing followers. I'll tell myself that I am re refining my audience. I am refining my community. And what that means is I'm, I'm keeping those people that I find value in too and that really resonate with me. And I love that. I freaking love that. My friend Dallas just sent me a message being like, I needed to hear this. So I thought that we would chat about it too. So I think, so Scotty's going to get a little bit of lunch. Ro has just been such a good girl. She's done all the stuff we've needed her to do today. And I am going to film a little outfit video for you guys that I already mentioned is already live. So I'll link it up above. <laughs> on my day. The real life. The real life situation. Okay, so I just finished up with that meeting. I feel like I'm on like an inception round here because I have my little setup. So what I do for my camera setup behind the scenes is I have the Sony AS3 or the Sony, yeah. And then I also have my little, it's, this is called a lily put. It's like a little camera assist. And this is the first time I've done this where I've actually put my external mic on the side and that's just because I don't have a cage. And I put that external screen on top. And the reason for that is because Sony 
on these cameras doesn't have a flip out screen, unlike this camera that I'm using right now, which is really annoying. And today I'm gonna to be filming a new in in my wardrobe. So that should already be live and I will link it, I think it's on this side, this side. I will link it up above. Hi guys, <laughs> I feel like I have been a bad vlogger today. Oh, this lighting is just awful. Okay, I'm trying to do the right thing. Find the better lighting. <laughs> I hope you've had a great day so far. I hope, hope you've enjoyed this vlog so far. Lots more to come. Tomorrow we are doing something very festive. Like getting into the festive spirit. Plus, I did my laundry. We had someone come and look at the bathroom to see if we can get it renovated. So that will all be really exciting. Um, exciting things happening for sure, but Again, today, like after I shot that video, I pretty much just had to dive in and edit it. I also took Rosie for a really big run. Basically, I will just chuck the ball, chuck her ball as far as I can. She has this super long lead and we just, like she doesn't go and get it and bring it back to me. She does that in the house, but when we're outside, she just gets like way too jacked up. So she just runs towards it, goes it, and then she just looks at you. So then I also kind of have to run and go get the ball. But that was really fun. Scotty is actually out for dinner with some of his high school best friends. And uh, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta let your partner like have a dinner with their friends. I would love to hang out with them, but they're just, they just kind of like get all of their catch up done together with all of their like memories and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's totally okay for you guys to do different things and for you guys to do things together. So it's all about balance. Oh, do you see yourself? Do you see yourself there? Hello. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Rosie. <laughs> that was so cute. Rosie's been in a good mood today. The temperatures are falling in the morning, so Scotty so kindly took her out this morning and I was not going to complain about it. That's for sure. So today we have a very festive thing going on today, which I'm so excited about. This morning has been full of getting ready, catching up on some of Amelia's vlogs. Always. Oh always catching up on the vlogs. And I am just about to film a, another video. There was a video that I basically pitched in my last one saying, hey, do you guys want to see this too? Or would you be interested in this topic? And I did get some comments saying yes. So I'm just gonna film it while I'm on that like vibe. I also have a really big interview today and I need to prep for that because there's a script and everything. So that is going to be my morning. And I think that we should just jump into it. What I kind of like the idea of is getting started and like talking on camera to start. Also, Rosie just endlessly does this. <laughs> what you doing? Oh, and she's covering her face. She just like wants to make a nest. I like the idea of talking on camera this morning and then having to do my interview later. Plus, plus, today is the first day that Starbucks is releasing their holiday drinks. Yay! And because Rebecca and I are going to do something extremely festive, we are like already texting each other like, Starbucks first and then we go. <laughs> so if you are looking forward to Christmas and holiday things, then it all begins now. Actually, I just decided before I jump into filming, I'm gonna get some emails done because if I do not get my admin done, the whole time I'm filming, all I'm gonna be filming thinking about is, I should really answer that email. <laughs> Good shake, girl. Okay. Shake. Wow. Wow, you're so smart. Okay, so I'm just at our little desk here. I'm like crouching down. I'm going over my script and uh, it's about an hour before the event, so I'm a little nervous, a little anxious, but it's less like, less like I can't do this and more like I really want to do a good job. So oftentimes in life, I feel like there are so many times where we kind of misplace feeling or we almost manifest you know, worse feelings than they have to be. So I know that this is gonna be exciting. I know it's gonna be good. I just have to do the work and go over everything. So I'm gonna do that now. Gosh, you guys, 
That was so cool. Haley's story is amazing. So I got to do this little interview with Haley Wickenizer and she just has like the most incredible story. Her talking about being a doctor, being in the ER during COVID-19, being on the women's Olympic hockey team again and again, winning silver medal, winning gold medals, being on the Olympic team for softball as well. <laughs> like just so many things that she does and she was just such a good speaker. It made my job so easy. So I have a couple of little B-roll clips, but I was obviously really in tune to that interview. So it's time now just to take a little bit of a deep breath. Um, maybe do something for me, <laughs> get off my email and get ready to get festive. <laughs> From blue to red, let me show you these earring options that I've got. Sorry if you have dogs in the background, Rosie is very into her squeaky toy. <laughs> I know. So either these ones, they're like little Christmas trees kind of. Oh my goodness, one sec. <laughs> and I got these at Zara last year, I think. But I feel like they are also very festive. I like that these are like blingy. I think I'll put my hair back a little bit and put on a red lip and then wear these. Let me know which ones you would have chosen below. Right? We made the right decision. I think so. Hair pulled back and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on this liquid lip by Fenty Beauty and this is in the color Uncensored. So if you are looking for a lip color this holiday, I highly recommend those ones. <sighs> As you guys know, in my last vlog, I told you that weekly, <laughs> That's Scott's work. They have, a, oh my goodness, it's so long. It's long. <laughs> it's long. I gotta show you, I gotta hurry. I, this, is, this is the description because every single week, Sarah from Scott's work writes well, Scott a synopsis. Emma wrote this one. Emma wrote this one, well done, Emma. So the, the group writes him a synopsis. Oh my gosh, Sina, I'm, synopsis. I'm just killing it right now. <laughs> writes them a synopsis of what happened in The Bachelor that week and Scott live reacts. So he doesn't watch it because not fully his jam. Streaming on Twitch right now though. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the reading. We won't record it, but maybe if you if enough people request it in the future. Yeah, please. <laughs> I came in the car and she's already playing Christmas music. She understood the assignment. <laughs> That's so true. I used to order with almond milk too and they would be like, do you want whip? whip? And I'd be like, um, yes, does anyone say no? And you're like, I'm not worried about the whipping cream. I'm worried about the almond milk. <laughs> I mean, lactose intolerant people are quaking. Hmm. We want to know, what is your Starbucks order? Holiday season drinks are out. Holiday season drinks are out. I've mentioned this like five times. They're like, we get it, Amanda. We both got peppermint mochas. Beck got hers with almond milk and we both got oat fudge bars because Besties. we deserve it. Ooh, yes. Amanda Weldon. Corey, we're so excited. So I don't know if this quality is gonna be very good, but Rebecca and I just arrived at the Canadian Tire Christmas Trail. And so basically it's fully drive through and they're gonna show you a preview of like all of their Christmas stuff and it's gonna be so festive. And I forgot in the email that there's this part where they actually have the Canadian Tire Christmas Trail playlist. And if I can, I'll link it down below for you guys because I'm sure that you can listen if you have Spotify or Apple Music and I already see some lights and they're so beautiful. But we are so ready to drive on through and um, I think this is gonna be the most the most festive thing that we've done in like 300 days. <laughs> Goodness, lane you guys. Two. This is lane two. Lane two. I gotta make sure my ears are good for you. <laughs> he wants to make sure his ears are good for you guys. <laughs> ears are great. Hey. Ears are perfect. Hey, I'm Einstein. I'm one of Santa's elves. Oh Amazing. my goodness. What's the nicest thing you've done? I don't know when you ask, I have to think about it. I know. Oh no. Oh my goodness. I don't know. You don't, the nicest pressured. thing you did was you stayed home and kept your neighbors True. safe. I stayed safe. 
You know what? Thank you for that. Actually, yeah, that's that's the, that's, that's, that's all one. we're asking this that year. That is a good one. So this is just to tell you guys if you want to get tickets, you'll look up the Canadian Tire Christmas Trail, and it runs from November 13th to December 23rd. So, so far we've had an elf sing to us. We got to choose the song and because I'm absolutely evil and might be on the naughty list now, I chose, a, the naughty list. I chose a Mariah Carey song. <laughs> I was like, all I want for Christmas, please. <laughs> um, the easiest of all Christmas songs. He was really funny though. I was like, uh, he was like, what do you want for Christmas? And I was like, world peace. And he's like, ooh, yeah, we've been trying to make that one for a while and we kind of messed up a couple years ago and something really bad happened. So now we only give out hairbrushes and toys. So 2020 is, um, it's the elf's fault. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. Are they are. Hey, we're good to go. Maybe like a snickerdoodle? Wasn't her name snickerdoodle? Oh no, that was this girl at the end, a snickerdoodle. Mm, it's gingerbread. If for oh no other reason, you should come for the gingerbread. You should. It's really good. We just got a, a story from Mrs. Claus. Guys, if you have kids, this is so fun. <laughs> or if you are a kid at heart like us, <laughs> they keep being like, are there kids in here? And we're like, no, it's no. just us. <laughs> Oh, it is Santa. Oh, Santa's up here. Yeah, I get offered when Santa asks what I want for Christmas. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, look at all of these amazing decor pieces. Presents that you could get at Canadian Tire. You guys have a favorite color? Yes, yellow. Hello. Hello, Santa. Merry Christmas. How are you? Well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. Have you been enjoying the trail? This is a gorgeous space. Hi. To you. To you. Oh, my. And I have something super special to share with you guys. What? My snow globe collection. I love it. Wow. That is really pretty. Very festive. <gasps> Elmo, Elmo. Thank you. Guys, that was so cute. So cute. Highly recommend that experience. Thank you, Rebecca, for driving. Uh, thanks for letting me to be a passenger. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I loved it. Guys, I had a very exciting meeting today. <laughs> why, why did I come over here to talk to you when it is the sunniest or the darkest? Had a very exciting meeting today. Gonna start out with a quick outfit of the day. Very typical, very predictable. <laughs> I had a very important meeting this morning, so I was like, just gotta go with, I know, with what I know. I'm wearing my gold hoops. I'm wearing my Zara white turtleneck, the like fly fuzzy one. I'm also wearing these Reformation jeans. They're really, really cool. They've got this like patch here. Oh, it's on the other side. They've got this patch as well down there, which I think just adds like a little flair. I'll put a link to them down below because I remember I saw them, really liked them. I saw Victoria from the Fro got them like a few months ago as well. And she really liked them. And I just love the fact that they're this really cute pair of jeans, but it has an extra little flair. I gotta tell you what I'm doing today though. So today, this morning, I've been answering all my emails and getting everything sorted, but I'm actually going downtown Toronto to meet up with one of my really good friends in high school. And we had this period of time where we just haven't talked for so long. Hi, Mosey. And um, yeah, so we're gonna go meet up at a restaurant I haven't seen her in literally years. So I'm very excited about that. Scotty has his town hall today, so I'm gonna be out of his hair for that. And this little girl, She's doing just fine. 
we're just kind of going with the flow today as well. I think I might even go downtown um, on the opposite side of things to love La Vie to shoot some things and that might actually be a fashion video for you guys that you'll see on this coming Wednesday. editing this vlog and realizing I didn't do an official outro so I hope that you enjoyed this one I have been on hold for an hour and 50 minutes with my bank <laughs> while editing this so I've been listening to subpar classical music for a long time I hope that your day is going so much better than that and please do let me know if you have been enjoying these vlogs I certainly enjoy making them and going and starting the festive season that was like my dream. I hope that you get a chance to go to the Christmas tree. I'll, I'll, I'll leave the details down below if you are in like the GTA area to go and check it out because it was so phenomenal and so fun. Again, I think I said this a million times, if you do have kids. I keep checking my phone because I'm like, oh God, what if I miss it? It's like Phoebe and friends when she's on the phone. We cannot let them win, it's us versus them. Yes. <laughs> she's just trying to get, she's just trying to solve her issue. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. More fashion and style videos coming out on Wednesdays and vlogs on Sunday mornings. Bye guys. Have a good week.